Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Be Inspired with the Amber, your Puerto Rican mommy with a sprinkle of French. And today I am doing Tarot of Dreams. And I already pre-shuffled Aries cards. I was going to start with Aquarius, but I'm like, okay, I'll just start off with Aries. Okay, I am your Puerto Rican mommy with a sprinkle of French one more time. And today's shuffle, uh, this is April 8th, late night. And this read is possibly like, like a quick month read. The first card for the past is the world. The world generally means completion. And this is from the past, something that you completed, an ending, something final. Okay, because you've been, uh, you've been working really hard, Aries. And you're, you've been quite consistent in what you've been doing. But at the same time, um, there's some depression going on. But this is from the past, and this is completion, okay? Uh, if you're um, a sun, Aries, rising, ascend, that's basically ascendant, and moon, let me know if this uh, resonates with you as well. Because uh, sometimes when it doesn't resonate with your uh, sun sign, uh, rising, or moon sign will sometimes resonate. Okay, you have the Empress card for the present. The present basically meaning this is a card of uh, fatherhood, authority, strength. Um, it could be that um, currently you may have a position, a higher position, and you could be a little tough sometimes. Yeah, you, you could uh, want to um, show off the authoritarian side in a family. It could also mean that you want to boss others around so kind of um try to uh try your best not to do that because you're not going to have good workers surrounding you aries and if this is a card oh my neck is hurting if this is a card for a man um the empress is generally good empress uh will also be will help you out as far as teamwork so um Aries, the best thing I could tell you with this is think before you speak because sometimes being the empress, you can um, overpower and be too bossy. Okay, so the last card is the Four of Wands. And with the Four of Wands, you've already um, have your ducks in a row. So get off with that creativity and show it off because you've been mastering for a very long time. Remember, the card, the world card, is already talking about completion and finalizations. So Aries, get to it. Do what you got to do. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Okay, next sign is, what's the next sign after Aries? Taurus, right? This is a Tarot of Dreams card. And I'll probably do, how many card reads would I do? Probably uh, two more reads. And... Um, Tomorrow I'll do another two on um, three. Okay, Taurus. I generally pick out one for the past, one for the now. Oops, there she goes. And one for the future. And generally, we have to focus more on the now. I was always a dreamy type and always think about what the future will bring me instead of just thinking about the now. Okay, this one just popped out. So before I do that, let me take a break. And for uh, voiceover of Tennis Gin, I uh, uh, Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey. Announcing Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey, one of the most famous whiskeys. You can drink it straight. On the rocks or at cone, Jack Daniels has a smooth aroma, hint of vanilla, and a warm flavor. Order a drink that will make you feel like you belong. You don't have to be born in Tennessee to love whiskey. Frank Sinatra loved it. It was his way or the highway. Jack Daniels, as Sinatra would say, is the nectar of the gods. Jazz it up tonight with Jack Daniels, the iconic whiskey. Okay. That was for the Jack, for the whiskey lovers, right? Jack Daniels, Tennessee whiskey. Okay, Taurus, first card you got was the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords in the past. It's like, 
uh, you're saying what you have to say, your word is gold, don't mess with me, Queen of Swords, okay, you've been guarding yourself, you've been guarding your feelings, you've been pretty harsh, so this is, this is Taurus, in the past, if you're a Taurus rising, Taurus moon, this could also have been you in the past, so what would I say about this, let's see with the second card of the now, and this was backwards Ooh, let me see oh my eyes are really hurting today seven of swords wow and you got it backwards okay um you've been almost a, a little bit on the defensive and you're almost like ready it, it's like you're ready for war but at the same time with this card upside down you're like trying to relax trying to um you're trying to meditate more because this is upside down. So you don't feel like you should be uh, talking back so quickly. You know, you have a tendency to just say, you know, talk without thinking. And, and that's going to get you in trouble. So you've been realizing uh, to not jump over any any little thing that someone says to you. Taurus, if, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment below, okay? Alrighty. Okay, so this is the future. The future could be next week. The future could be tomorrow. And you have the Ten of Wands. And you have it upside down. Okay, the Ten of Wands. So basically, you've been exhausted, okay, with the Ten of Wands. But it's upside down. So, um... You want your projects to make some kind of sense. You want your projects to make some kind of sense. You've been doing, you've been doing, and um, you've been almost like waiting or waiting for, I would say like waiting for a harvest or you've been working so hard. It's not working the way you want to, but it's upside down. Um, so you're... You're waiting for that breakthrough and it's gonna come just don't give up and keep it up okay now to the sign of let me see Gemini if I have the chance here if I have the chance for Gemini I have to um, download all these other this other info on my phone which is why I have very little Space. Okay, this is for Gemini. 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 Whoa. <laughs> this one. Gemini. Ooh. Gemini. 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 Whoa, <laughs> this one, Gemini, one more card, Gemini, Gemini, oops, there you go, Gemini, okay, Gemini, let's see, I'm working with the Tarot of Dream cards, and this card is the tower, but you got it backwards, and this is what um, you had in the past, Gemini, but the tower card was backwards. So a lot of things that weren't serving you came tumbling down. But with this one, um, backwards meaning um, it's almost not everything went tumbling down. You have a lot of things that you want to knock, that you wanted to knock down. But still, there's a lot of work to do. Gemini, there's a lot of work to do. But you're almost, you, you're almost there. Okay, um, Ace of Coins. This is Ace of Coins at the moment, but this was upside down, Ace of Coins. But you are, you've actually have mastered, have mastered a lot. You're halfway there, okay? You've been mastering a lot, uh, Gemini, but this card was upside down. So you have a lot of uncertainties at the same time, and 
don't be um, don't be afraid to step up your game and to keep pushing because you're almost there okay do I have enough time here I do apologize